This document advises on the usage of additional antibacterial filters with Breas devices to help further protect your patient as well as your care environment. Please consider these recommendations when using our devices under high-risk conditions such as actual COVID-19 outbreak. Use filters and circuits as shown in this document. The filter close to the patient aims to protect caregivers when the patient is infected. The filter at the device air outlet will protect in case the device would be contaminated. The device air inlet filter has not been validated against providing filtration of any type of pathogens and is intended as a dust or particle filter only. Make sure to test the disconnection alarm of the ventilator with complete setup in case this is applicable. Perform a pre-use test with the filters connected. Make sure to take away or block the leak port during the pre-use test. Test alarms and treatment settings for correct treatment outcome with a full circuit setup. Complete the circuit setup and connect the patient before you turn on the device. Turn the device off before disconnecting the patient. Only use low resistance bacterial filters. And replace the filters as per recommendations of your supplier. If the recommendations are not clear, we recommend to replace filters every 24 hours, replace filters in between patients, and replace filters when visually contaminated. Please adhere to the following recommendations when using your Vivo ventilator for non-invasive ventilation. When using a single limb leak circuit for non-invasive ventilation, please select a non-vented mask as patient interface and place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the ventilator as well as a bacterial filter or HME width filter in between the leak adapter and the patient mask. When using a single limb circuit with active exhalation valve, please use a non-vented mask and place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the ventilator and a bacterial filter or HME width filter in between the active exhalation valve and the patient mask. When using a dual limb circuit for non-invasive ventilation, select a non-vented mask and place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the Vivo ventilator as well as a bacterial filter or HME width filter in between the Y piece and the patient mask. Please follow these recommendations when using your Vivo ventilator for invasive ventilation. When using a dual limb circuit for invasive ventilation, place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the ventilator on the inspiratory limb as well as a bacterial filter or HME width filter between the Y piece and the patient. When using a single limb leak circuit for invasive ventilation, place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the Vivo ventilator and a bacterial filter or HME width filter between the leak adapter and the patient. When using a single limb circuit with active exhalation valve for invasive ventilation, place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the ventilator and a bacterial filter or HME width filter between the active exhalation valve and the patient. Please adhere to the following recommendations when providing airway clearance with mechanical inexufflation to your patient. For the non-invasive use of mechanical inexufflation, we recommend to place a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the device, as well as a bacterial filter in between the leak adapter and the mask. 
For the invasive use of mechanical in exsufflation, we recommend to use a bacterial filter at the air outlet of the device, as well as at the end of the circuit beyond the leak adapter. Breyers advises to use a lint-free cloth and ethanol 70% to disinfect the external surface of the devices.